Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. In a recent investigation of agricultural corporations, Kyungi Province uncovered illegal profiteering through real estate transaction tax evasion by seven of the 37 corporations investigated. These corporations received unlawful gains by reselling land without following the mandatory three-year usage period even after receiving an acquisition tax exemption. The province sent six of the violators to prosecution while imposing a fine of 17 million Korean won on the remaining violator for attempted tax evasion. Kyungi Province announced detailed plans including five major strategies to expand the adoption of untaxed systems in the lifelong education sector while maintaining educational effectiveness. These plans focus on the untaxed operation of classes so as to enable all residents to receive education easily regardless of their location. The province also plans to launch the Kyungi Lifelong Learning Portal course information website by 2022. This website will enable users to check and apply for courses offered by the province, provincial organizations, and local governments. The Food Truck Kitchen Sharing Service, which Kyungi Province announced at the 10th New Technology and Service Review Committee meeting, organized by the Ministry of Science and ICT on June 30th, received approval for regulatory sandbox trials. This service is aimed at helping food truck operators undertake food preparation in more hygienic environments while reducing startup costs. The regulatory sandbox trial approval system facilitates the verification of products and services by enabling their use free of existing regulations. On July 7th, the Kyungi Provincial Assembly elected Assemblymember Jang hyung of the Democratic Party to be its chairperson for the second half of the Assembly's current term. In his inaugural address, Jang stated that he would act as a stepping stone for the happiness of residents and the effectiveness of Assembly members. Assembly members Jin Yong-bok and Myung kyung hee were elected as vice chairs. Assembly members Jin Yong-bok and Moon kyung hee were elected as vice chairs. Applications for Kyungi Disaster Basic Income prepaid cards will continue to be received at local administration and welfare offices as well as NH Bank branches until July 31st. Applications can be made by proxy by immediate family members. Those who are unable to apply in person, including solitary seniors and children without parents, can still submit applications to visiting officials. As of July 3rd, 96.8% of Kyungi residents had applied for disaster basic income payments, totaling 2 trillion Korean won. Kyungi Province recently selected the NHN PECO Consortium as a preferred bidder for the development of a public delivery app. This consortium, which includes PECO, app developers and delivery agencies, has proposed a more public-oriented delivery app. In cooperation with the Korea Kyunggi-do company, this consortium will undertake the development of a public delivery app that will improve convenience for Kyunggi residents while protecting the interests of related platform workers and affiliated small businesses. Sobija, Kongupja, Jungeja, Kakage Chuchedri, Jum Sangseng Al Swinan, Changijuro Sangseng Al Swinan, Kuzoro Mandarande, Chega Tongchamadu Suita Wahamion. In a recent three-month investigation of 94 hand sanitizer manufacturers in the province, the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police uncovered illegal practices at 43 locations. Charging all offenders with related safety and pharmaceutical law violations, the Judicial Police confirmed that strong measures against such illegal activities will continue to be pursued. The Kyungi 
Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.